What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Skeltos and today we're working on the Project Incognito BMW E36 build. We're just replacing the shift boot today, but I figured I'd make a video on it for you guys to have something to enjoy. I have the shift boot right here next to me. We're going to review it a little bit. I already know what it looks like to make sure I had everything, but the BMW shift boot is torn as we know and it needs a replacement, so let's get into it. Just for reference, if you do not know, this shift boot is destroyed and it needs replacement. So let's look at the new one that I have right over here. I don't know why I closed the door. I have this new one from Kobe Wheel. Nice BMW website that I found online. Nice shift boot. Um, weird that it comes in a Ziploc bag with a zip tie. I haven't figured out what the zip tie is, but let's get this open and I'll kind of go over why I got this one and a little bit more about it. Okay, so this is the new shift boot. It's an Alcantara black on black shift boot from Kobe Wheel, as I said. They typically do steering wheels, but they have shift knobs, shift boots, and a bunch of other things that you can get on their website. I'll put a link down in the description of the shift boot and just the main link to their website. But it is really nice. It's Alcantara, as I said, it's black on black. I didn't want anything fancy. I'm actually keeping the car all black at the moment. I'll be getting window tints soon. I will not be making a video on that. I'll probably just go over it once it's done. But this is the shift boot. It's really simple. It's pretty It's pretty well put together. It has a little, little extra fabric to go over the shift linkage so you don't have to worry about like it being kind of loose but we got to get the old one out to get the new one in so let's get started okay for starters we're going to need to get the shift knob off so i'm going to just yank mine off as is because it's always been loose yours is aftermarket take it off as is i will put this on properly apparently there's just some set screws i also do need a new shift knob because i do not like the way this one feels and it's kind of damaged anyway but let's start the next step okay next we're going to take out the shift boot. It's attached to this plastic trim piece, so be very careful you do not break it. I did not buy one, I'm just gonna go on and replace the shift boot with the, with the existing plastic trim piece. But to get it out, there's just some clips, you just pull it out like so, it's pretty easy to pop out, and then just bring it this way, and then up and over, and there we go. That was neat, that was easy. Now it's out, let's get the shift boot off the plastic trim and install the new one. Before we go any further, I didn't really go over why I got this one. I kind of went over and told you guys that's Alcantara, black on black. I got this one because even though the website seemed kind of iffy, it was, it, but it was legit. It took a while to get here, but it's here. It was only 25 bucks, and I'm happy that the quality is pretty solid. I fully expect this to be a pain in the ass to get off, but let's get started. It's not too bad so far. It's actually coming off really easy. There, it's tearing a little there. Yeah, it's tearing a little, but let's go the other way. Let's see if we can get off a little better. Not too bad. Came right off. There's a little remnants on it. Uh, we'll get this off, though. We're just going to use some goof off. I got this at Walmart. You can probably get it at Advanced Home Depot. Literally any parts or hardware store or whatever. I got goof off. I'm not going to show you this. It's going to be boring, and I don't know how long it's going to take. But I'm using goof off to get the rest of the adhesive and the grime that's on this before we install the new shift boot to the frame. Okay, so in retrospect, this doesn't really clean up that nice, but I didn't know where I was going to find this or how much it was going to be. So we're just going to kind of send it. I got a better way of doing this. We figured out how the shift boot goes on. So we're just going to paper clip it to this and then kind of slip some glue in underneath to hopefully get it attached. Okay, let's get the shift boot attached to the trim piece. First, we noticed that these kind of stitches go towards the front, the wider part of this, if you could tell. This is narrower than this. So the stitches are going to go to the front and we're going to binder clip it as we're going around to kind of hold it in place. We're going to work our way around, so I'm going to what would be the back left of the car, or back right of the car. And we're just kind of popping a paper clip on to hold it in. So this is the difficult part. Let's see if I can get a smaller paper clip to kind of hold it. And I didn't have small paper clips or small binder clips. I had pretty big. I had bigger, medium-sized ones. So they don't work as well. If you have smaller binder clips, this will definitely work for you. It's probably seamless and have no issues. But even with three binder clips, you can kind of see how it goes on. It's kind of in, and now we're going to have to try and slip glue underneath the seams. I think I'm going to start on this side, meaning I haven't got a binder clip on here yet. 
And sorry about the lighting, it's kind of iffy outside. So, it's all just done and dandy. Now we guys gotta glue it on. By the way, the glue I'll be using this is Fabric Fabric Tac. It was recommended by Kobe Wheel on their website for the through the instructions. It is a little warmer today, it's about 85, so this is probably gonna come out very fast. Obviously cooler, it'll probably be thicker, so recommend doing this on a cooler day most likely. I haven't tried it yet though, so let's find out right now. It is pretty stringy, so beware of that. But I'm going to now just kind of press this on. I'm going to try and pull the fabric down a little bit and press this on. And hopefully it'll be, it'll stick. I am going to kind of rotate the paper clips around, the binder clips around a little bit. So I'm going to take this binder clip and just kind of pinch it on the edge of this here to hold it down while I'm gluing the rest of it. So let's move on to the next side. A little bit of a time lapse, I guess. Just kind of slip it in right there, make sure it's nice and secure. Just pressing it down. Might get a little bit on your fingers. Try and keep it away and off the main portion of the boot so you don't ruin the boot and it looks pretty good after, at the end still. So I added the glue there. Again, binder clip. And just repeat on the other sides. Got two more sides to go for me. Binder clip, pinch. It is getting a little messy, but I haven't gotten it. It is, it's, you know, it's gonna get on your hands, so beware of that. Probably just take it off with some rubbing alcohol or maybe even Dawn dish soap. I have a lot of trust in Dawn dish soap for everything I do. This is the last side. And we're just gonna press it down one final time. Do not forget to get the corners. I am now going around and doing the corners because I somewhat forgot. I don't want to admit it, but I just did. I kind of forgot to put it on the corners and the corners are kind of peeling up a little bit. Might have to go around for a second go, but binder clip, snip, and now we're gonna let this dry. I have no idea how long it's going to take, but I will install it and get back to you when it's dry. Awesome, so I took the binder clips off already just to check it, but this stuff is on. It took about 10, 15 minutes. So let's get it installed. Awesome, so we're just gonna install it the same way we took it off. I'm just gonna place it over the top. Try and get the shift linkage through the top here, which, like that, just, just occurred. We're just gonna slip in the far side into the clipping spaces and then slip this side in. Kind of work, kind of work it down and into place. And voila. New shift boot is in. We gotta still get the shift knob on, but it is in. Nice. Fits. It's, it went in really snug too. Sweet. This time around, I will be properly installing my shift knob. It has the little set screws in it, which are a two and a half millimeter Allen key. But first, I'm just gonna slip this on. Then we're gonna kind of press on the shift knob as so, and just kind of tighten these little set screws. There is three of them I believe. I only know where the two of them are. There's another one over here. And to be honest with you, I don't really think you need to uh, tighten them all. It's on there. Eh on there pretty solid regardless it has a little bit of wobble to it but it's on there nonetheless and then this little collar just threads right on and wha bam the new shift boot is on hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me installing a shift boot into project incognito do not forget to like subscribe and comment share the video with your friends remember every day is an adventure until next time peace